Hey everyone, Bumper here. Welcome back to my channel. Really excited today because um, it's finally arrived. The 4K Harry Potter set housed in the Hogwarts Express. So let's do an unboxing video. Please bear with me because it was quite a tricky unboxing. So there are some um, mishaps with the camera, but nothing too major. So yeah, let's jump straight in. Okay, so here we go then. Um, unboxing this Hogwarts Harry Potter 4K collection. Excuse me, I've got to be fair, but even I'm a little bit intimidated and excited to say done with this because the size of the box that's come in is absolutely insane. Fair do so. We'll pop this open now. You're going to be on the journey with me from start to finish. So if there's any damage, then we're going to find out together. Okay, so the video might be a little bit, um, you know, the camera might be moving about a little bit just so I can get the best shots. Um, so I've got my uh, weapon of choice choice me stabber so i'm just going to get into this box quickly there we go so i said we'd be in for some problems hit the camera off already so we're going to cut him open i hope this isn't this isn't a sex doll i ordered from japan now <laughs> okay so i know you can't really see much at the moment sorry about that um just to show you what i'm doing I'm unboxing it. Okay, so I've got some scissors in case there was any issues like I'm experiencing. So there we go then. So we got this big huge box now and it looks well packaged. I'd be disappointed if there was any damage, I've got to be fair. Okay then, so let's have a look what we got here. Let's get rid of all this junky paper. I don't know why they packaged it in such a big box, mind. I appreciate the effort, but considering what it is, then, you know, it didn't need to be in a box this big. So, there we go. It doesn't look like there's any damage to the packaging, so that's always a bonus. Yeah, so there she is in all her glory, the Hogwarts Express. So, let's tuck into this bad boy now, then. But just... Get rid of the last bits of the paper. Get rid of this humongous box. Bloody hell, someone could use this to live in in the book. Okay, so there she is then. In all her packaging. Hogwarts Express. Spin him around a bit. There's Hedwig there on the side. Then we got the J card there on the back. I mean, it's all in German. We knew that was going to be the case though, didn't we? That was part of the, you know, reason we got it so cheap. So there we go. All right then. So just to reiterate now, this package is going for $249.99 on Amazon and on Zavi. I got this for €99, Euros, but by the time you converted it into pounds, it cost me £86. So I have saved, what, £166 by buying it from Germany rather than in the UK. Okay, so we're going to get into it. Let's get the King film off. Okay, I've kind of seen this going better in my head, but hey ho. There we go then. So there's the King Film offer. And also it comes with the magic uh, movie modes as well that you get on the new um, 4K Harry Potter um, Sorcerer's Stone that you can get on Zavi. That retails about 30 quid anyway. So, you know, when you take that off the overall price, we're down to 50 quid for everything else. It's just an insane deal. I can't believe more people are not picking this up. I've got to be honest. There have been some rumours that the packaging might not be that great. But even at £86, you're getting eight 4K movies. So that's less than £10 for each 4K, regardless of the packaging. So there she is. OK, so she feels all right. The bottom... These are um, embossed by you, the wheels. Feels quite heavy duty. Um, yeah, I don't think it doesn't feel flimsy. That's quite hard. That's really hard there. This bit's probably a little bit flimsy on the front. I have to be careful with my kids and my dog with that, but you know, the rest of it feels pretty damn sturdy. I gotta be honest. I know it's cardboard. You might say for the price, they could have made it out of steel. But, you know, again, going back to what I said earlier, I haven't paid 250 quid for it. So, you know, I'm happy with it being cardboard. Uh, you've got some images in the windows there as it goes past. They're a bit blurry. Are they lenticular, maybe? No, but uh, maybe they'd be clearer when you take the lid off. 
Okay, so let's do it then. I'm going to take the lid off. There we go. This is not flimsy at all, okay? This is quite thick. This is the same as any sort of 88 box set, second sight box set you will get. This is not flimsy, okay? So this is tidy. There's a very, very, very slight bit of damage there. Scratching of the paint. I'm not really care about that. This bit looks like it might peel off a little bit too easy. Um, but hey-ho, you know, just glue that back down myself. Okay, so then when we open it up, I got that there. The Wizarding World. Harry Potter. We're going to take that bit off as well. That bit's flimsy. But that's okay because, you know, the bit that goes around it again is a lot thicker. Um, but again, though, it's not... It's not ridiculously flimsy, actually, the more I feel it. Um, it's just um, flexible. So that's fine. And here we go. So we got three big boxes, okay? So let's have a little look at each one of these. Eight film collection. This one says it's the specials. Okay, this is the only beef for me buying it from Germany. Is you get these horrible um, green age rating stickers on them that look a little bit unsightly. It'd be better without that, I've got to be honest. Okay, so in here now we've got... Um, eight specials i don't exactly know totally what they're about because the lingo's in germany but i'm sure i can just go on the internet and type it in and find out what each one is or just watch them i guess okay so we're going to open it up there we are then there's all the discs these are all extras so you've got what eight discs worth of extras maybe more one two three four five six Seven, eight. So you've got eight discs worth of extras there. The whole set is 25 discs. So eight from 25 leaves, what, 17? So there should be film, the films across the 17 discs. So let's put that one back and take out this one. Okay, nice images there. Here's your boy Sirius Black, the goblet, Harry, uh, Dumbledore, and then the tree there. So in here, it looks like we got chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So this goes all the way up to number seven. So these are all your, I think these are the Blu-rays by the look. So you've got eight films here, all on Blu-ray. Okay, so that's great. Love that. I love the black cases as well, really nice. Okay, so there's your eight Blu-rays. And then I'm assuming this is going to be the eight 4Ks, yeah? So we got 4K Ultra HD there. Harry Potter, eight film collection. That's in English. And that collection is the same in German, I'm not sure. Okay, it's got the Wizarding World symbol there. That's how you've got that extra bonus feature. And we're going to open them up. And there we are. Okay, so we got all the different Harry Potters in 4K. Eight discs, all 4K. Okay, I may have, if I was being extra picky, I may have liked to have seen individual boxes for every single one. But then, you know, how you're going to house them all. So that's fine. So that's it then. That's your 4Ks. Lovely image on the front. The Sorcerer's Stone um, one, I think. Oh, it's got the flying car, so it can be. It must be a mixture of all the different ones. Um, yeah, so that's fab. I'm really happy with that. Okay, so then we're going to look at this. So this is like an envelope. Hogwarts. Like a briefcase type carry bag thing that they would use for their books and stuff. Okay, so we're going to open it up. Now, I'm expecting a lot of this to be in German. But I don't mind because they're still collector's items. Okay, so this is London to Hogwarts, Platform 9. So this is all in English, actually. So this first bit, this this ticket, probably limited edition, um, number 257. I'm not sure how many they made, mind. But this is all in English, so this bit isn't in German, so that's fine. Uh, the bit on the back is, actually, though. But um, who cares about that, because the front is where all the info is. So that's all English, that's fine. Um there's some information on the box here as well about recycling. That's got all different languages. So this fills me with a bit more hope that some of this stuff might actually be in English. We'll come back to the poster. So I need to make some room. Okay, so we've got the art cards. Harry, these these are in German, okay? So it's Harry on the front and it's got some information about the character. I'm not going to know what it says because it's German, but I don't really mind because the images are nice. So there's um, Hagrid. Then we've got Ron. The names are in English at the bottom. Let me, oh, I'll say that. That's not a proper way to spell Hermione in English. Hermione. Then we've got Dumbledore, uh, Professor McGonagall, and Professor Snape. Shame there's not one of Sirius Black there, because Sirius Black is my favourite character. I also like Lupus, but, um, you know, whatever. That's just the way it is. Okay, then we got these lovely um, postcards, art cards, whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, so there's the chessboard from Philosopher's Stone. There's um, 
Oh, God, I can't think what the place is called now. Diagon Alley, is it? No, Diagon Alley, I think it's just the name of... Yeah, I think it's Diagon Alley. Yeah, cool. There's the bank there, Gring... Gringotts Bank. Okay, there's Hogwarts. Okay, we've got a little dragon thing. Okay, there's uh, where Hagrid lives. There's his uh, little motorcycle. And we've got here some sort of deconstruction of a wand. Then they make the wand out of the tree. Again, you don't really need this in English, I've got to be honest. And then, um, I'm not sure what this little tapestry thing is here. Um, probably should know, being a big Harry Potter fan, but uh, yeah, I'm just not sure. Um, okay, so that's fine. That's your art cards. All right, then we got two 32-page booklets. I'm sure these are going to be in German. Uh, actually, they're not. This is English. This is a script, yeah? Script writing, so that's all in English. Pictures, don't matter what language they're in. More English script stuff. Yeah, English again. This is great. I tell you, for £85, when the English release is going for 250 this is just insane, because this is mostly in English. I'm not really losing out on anything here. Um, so, yeah, there's more pictures. I won't waste time on it. Oh, God, he's a nice-looking guy. Looks like my ex. Um, there's the three-headed dog, Cerberus, and they brought him to life computer generated. So everything in there is in English, right? So it doesn't make a difference if you bought the German release or the English one. It's all in English, and you saved yourself £164. This is just insane. This one might be in German. Let's have a look. This is the Magic Moments one. Yeah, this looks like this might be in German, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of writing in here anyway. It's mainly pictures. Like I did say when I put the deal up on my YouTube channel that these booklets would probably be laden with pictures and it wouldn't matter. And I was right. Okay, so that's in English there. You know, the names are in English. Okay, so... They, you know, they're just mainly um, screen grabs from the film. Don't make a difference about the language. Okay, and then the only thing really left now, which we'll make some room for, is the poster. So, I don't really do anything with posters anyway. They're not deal breakers for me. I really don't care if I have one or not. What I would use this for is if I was ever lucky enough to meet one of the cast, and I'd get them to sign it, probably. So, it's in German, but it's not much writing on it anyway. It's just an image of all the characters. It's a really nice... Um, poster um the colors are beautiful on it fair dues. if i was to ever frame a poster it probably would be this one um so yeah this is fab that's a little bit in german at the bottom but again we're not going to care because of the money that we saved okay let's make sure i fold this back up properly now because i'm not very good at folding the old posters either okay that looks right okay so if you just bear with me two seconds i'm just gonna put it all back as it was I'm really starting to feel now that I've had a super duper deal, okay? Someone did say to me, uh, my, my buddy Keith over at Euphoria Pictures, absolute top man, but he did have his concerns about the packaging being really flimsy and weak because he watched uh, an unboxing video on another channel. But, you know, I'm not saying it to get anyone to buy it or for him to buy it or to prove anyone wrong, but um, it's just not the case, okay? This is all packaged and housed really, really well. This is probably... The, I'm not... Um, Blowing my own trumpet here, but this is probably the best £85 I've ever spent on anything physical media-wise. When you think of the saving, for the sake of buying it from Amazon Germany, it is just absolutely insane. I can't wait to tuck into these. I never watched them in 4K. I didn't have the set anyway. I know you can get the Steelbook set from Warner Brothers. That's 250 quid. That's nice. It looks probably a little bit nicer than this if you're more of a... Um, Collector who likes their things to look a bit more smarter. This is a bit more novelty, but I've got three kids, so hopefully this will get them into it. So there it is then, one more time, in all its glory. Like we said, it isn't rubbishly packaged. It isn't thin, crappy cardboard. Yeah, they could have made it out of steel or some sort of die-cast metal, but then you probably would have been paying more for the delivery because it would be heavier. Um, I can't see that I'm missing any features here. Nothing seems to like sort of come and done on the front bit or the, um, the windows. So, yeah, so I think that's about it. So, choo-choo, here comes the Hogwarts Express, and I've been Bumper. Thanks for watching.